In the last video, we took a look at some of the classes that you can use in Bootstrap to create this nice looking navbar. Now, in this video, we're going to explore some of the classes you can use to create a logo in Bootstrap. And what we want to do is stick our logo right to the left here of our buttons. So that's, again, what we're going to cover in this video. So let's go ahead and close this out. And since we want to put the logo before our buttons, we're actually going to stick it right before our UL class. So that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and add a div. And the bootstrap class that we're going to specify first is called navbar header. So let's go ahead and do that. Now the navbar header bootstrap class basically goes hand in hand with another class, which we're about to specify, which is the navbar brand. So both of those classes go hand in hand when you want to create a logo using bootstrap. And what this navbar header class basically does, it allocates about 150 pixels of space for your logo. So basically it will allocate that space for whatever your brand name or logo that you want to use. And it also does another great thing. It makes the entire area clickable for the link that we're about to provide. And it does yet another thing. It actually makes your logo very responsive. And what I mean by that is it will scale appropriately for the particular device it's on. And as we know, Bootstrap is a mobile friendly framework. So again, the logo will scale appropriately for the particular device it's on. So let's go ahead and create a link for our logo. And so of course we need an anchor tag. And the next class, as I said, we need to specify is navbar brand. And once again, this goes hand in hand with the navbar header. They work together. And then, of course, we need an href with our anchor tag. And in this case, I'm not going to put anything in here. I'm just going to put a pound sign, but you can put whatever link you want. And then you can put in the text for whatever logo or brand name that you want to use. And I'm just going to go ahead and specify EJ Media here. And Bootstrap actually formats this very nicely, as you'll see in a second. All right, so let's go ahead and close out that anchor tag. And then, of course, we need to close out our div. And whoops, I put an equal sign there, not a hyphen. Glad I noticed that before I fired this up. This would have looked really weird. Let's go ahead and fix that. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, so let's go ahead and save this. And let's go ahead and run this in Google Chrome. And take a look at that. There is our logo. And see how we can put a hand over the entire area of the logo? This is about 170 pixels or something. And this is how major sites do this. If you go out to Amazon, you take a look at their logo, the entire area around it is clickable. And usually what they do is they just link back to their main page. Now, let's see how responsive this is. And I'll show you how nicely these classes work, including the navbar header and the navbar brand class. Let's go ahead and minimize this and take a look at that. See how that handles our logo very nicely? puts it right on top where it should be. So again, this code is very mobile friendly, which is one of the basic mantras of the Bootstrap framework. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. In the next video, we'll create a search box using the Bootstrap framework. See you guys then.